We essentially conducted a two-part study in which we looked at survival disparities between younger black and white patients with acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, um, younger in this case being under the age of 60. Um, we first performed a population-based analysis using the SEER registry to assess for survival differences and to try to determine if various socioeconomic factors were also disparate between uh, black and white AML patients. Uh, following that analysis, we looked at a subset of AML patients who were enrolled on clinical trial protocols. So essentially, they received the same therapy, and really our question was twofold. Um, one was whether or not clinical trial enrollment um, improved the survival differences that we saw in the SEER registry because we were able to see that uh, younger black patients in the SEER registry actually had worse survival than younger white patients. And so we wanted to see if clinical trial enrollment would alleviate that. And the second thing um, that we wanted to address was whether or not there were biological differences in the actual AML cells between black and white AML patients. So um, we looked at genetic differences um, in 81 genes um, between black and white AML patients. And, um, and essentially what we found was that for the most part, there weren't that many genetic differences, but there were a few notable differences in specific gene mutation frequencies between younger black and white AML patients. Um, we observed first and foremost that um, the NPM1 gene or the nucleophosmin one gene was, um, which is normally considered a good risk a gene mutation um, when it occurs without a concurrent mutation in a different gene called FLT3ITD normally is a good prognostic genotype. And so what we observed is that younger black patients often had fewer mutations in the NPM1 gene. Um, so that was, um, that was an important finding. Um, we also observed that um, even in NPM1 mutated black patients, the and uh, even in NPM1 uh, black NPM1 mutated black patients, um, that their survival outcomes were not quite as good as what you would have expected. And even those patients who um, who had no FLT3 ITD or low levels of FLT3 ITD um, also did not fare as well as you would think they would. Um, Additionally, we found that clinical trial enrollment did not actually alleviate survival disparities and that younger black patients, even in clinical trials, um, had worse survival than younger white patients.